now we will see what are the options available under home and what are the options available under insert modeling view and uh, help so this is a bi tool right for uh, once we get the bi tool what we need we need the data so using this get data option you can get the data from these many applications like uh, excel workbook power bi data sets power bi data flows flows uh, like excel data and sql data oracle data we will we are also having power bi uh, data sets and power bi data flows and uh, data was and there are many sources are available you can click more in the bottom you can see a separate window listing all the data sources so now you can see all uh, data sources uh, these all also segregated into six categories like a uh, file database power platform azure online services and other you can click each one and uh, see what are the data sources available under each section like a uh, file you can uh, connect to the excel workbook text or csv files text means uh, csv means uh, notepad files uh, xml json uh, uh, if you have uh, some uh, files within a folder you can straightly connect to that folder itself so using this folder option you can uh, get all the data within that folder of files suppose in that folder 10 files are there all the 10 files uh, data will be combined and it will give as a source and then you can connect to any pdf files in a perquet and sharepoint folder also so you can go through whenever you have time you can go through each one and uh, try to understand it and for excel alone they have added one more uh, option here and uh, in the bottom also excel sql and uh, if you have a copied any table uh, in any uh, in uh, any of the format you just use this option paste data into blank table so if you have already copied the data from uh, any sources like excel or uh, google sheets you can uh, use this option and directly you can paste here and then uh, if you need any uh, sample data for your practice you can uh, click here uh, try uh, sample data you can go to load sample data or you can go to launch tutorial here you will find many data sources i will show you one thing uh, you can come down you can also download the power bi desktop tool from here Uh, see here you can download the sample so let's say i'm going to download this financial data so this excel file will be downloaded here you can see you can go to the download folder so this you can open that file you can see the data so like that there are several data uh, files are available in microsoft uh, website you can use them So this is how the data looks like here and I'm going to close. So Power BI uh, data sets and SQL server and the enter data. This is also one empty table uh, object will give. You can uh, enter the data here. Data was recent sources. Suppose if you have used any uh, recent sources, you can see all the uh, recent used files here. I'm going to close. And so once we load the data then what we need we need to model the data we need to transform the data we need to clean we need to uh, delete all unwanted columns rows we need to create calculated columns all those will come under the transform section uh, i will show you one by one so this new visual uh, will also uh, be uh, useful so this new visual you can use you can click it it will give a directly bar chart here if you at all you wanted to change it to line chart select this object and 
click on the line chart click on the funnel chart click on the uh, pie chart so like this you can uh, change that visual what you want so i'm going to delete it and the, if you want to add a text box to your uh, report you can click on the text box suppose if you want to add any uh, dashboard title like uh, sales report uh, financial year 2021 you can uh, add a title using the text box you can you can select the text and increase the font and make it bold whatever uh, way you wanted to format it you can format you can change the font you can increase the size and decrease the size and you can under uh, it are like underline so make it center and if you want to give a uh, web link to this text you can add the link to the text that will uh, once you click the text it will open the uh, website so this is how you can use it you can uh, use a bullet points you can change the font color also here So let's say I'm going with this color. So that color will be updated here. Uh, font will be changed to that color. Like this. If you want to suppose if you do uh, if you are not satisfied with these visuals, you can go to uh, from app source. Please subscribe to my channel Chetana Pixel if you are not done yet. Request your comments on this video. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.